Sunday, you tweeted, funny, but the one New York receiver making plays is Tavares King. Could be wrong, but I didn't read he went to Miami with Odell's Yacht Club. Well, Trey Songz responded saying, Skip, tell the truth. You texted my old phone. That's why you couldn't pull up. Shaking my head, people crazy, y'all. Uh, just a quick point on that. We did have Trey on my old show one time in Miami before Spurs Miami Heat game, and I did like him. I did hit it off with him, but I never had Trey's number, and I definitely, trust me, <laughs> was not offended that I was not invited that Sunday night to live and then to the boat. So I'm I'm good over here. I think you could handle live on yeah, Sunday, I, I could have been good. They would have liked me at I least. Think, I think you'd fit right in. Where, where do I fit in at? Well, you, you, you you're in that, the bed at 8 o'clock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, stop you're telling asleep. my business. You're, you're in the asleep. bed at 8 o'clock. You're so tired from all working out and eating hummus. Yeah, don't, don't, we're not going to go here you right know. now. We're not going to put certain <laughs> things on air. Ray, is in, this Ray has set. no patience for you today. You know I don't. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Because we if live. you go to live, you got to dance, and we know. No, you got to do dance. something outside of sit in the corner. Why are you telling my business on national <laughs> TV? That between me I and you. I just told you, let's not talk about it. And as soon as I said that, you, you bring it back up again. I asked Joy. No, you, you talking to us. We all here. I said, Joy, what could I do? Oh, are you? You did not turn your neck like that to Joy. You know Whatever. what? Go ahead, answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a teammate of Odell's, how would you handle this situation? Wow, let me go, let me go a couple of different places because, like I said, I've, I've talked to this kid many a times. And um, so let, me, let me address this Miami issue, right? Because this is why I think, honestly, not just because he's sitting here, but real friends, real friends. I like Trey Songz, Justin Bieber, y'all do y'all thing. Real friends tell you, don't come to Miami. Not if you're playing Aaron Rodgers. We'll see you in four weeks. Real friends will tell you straight up, Bro, you cannot come do what we what, what we doing right now. Cause we are kicking it. We all in. My world is totally different than your world. You ain't catch, I'm not catching balls with you. I'm not doing none of that with you. I remember when I was younger, when the things that I wanted to do, him and Rod Woodson made a decision because they knew I was young and said, okay, you want to kind of get out sometimes? We'll go with you. We took rides together. But then there were certain times that he would look at me and say, Sugar, we ain't doing that. There's certain things we ain't doing. And when I think about what I would tell Odell is, I don't know if Odell really understands, sooner or later, your talent won't get you into stadiums. Mm. Sooner or later, you got to be on this side of the road. And this side of the road, opportunities, come from what you did while you were playing. So the brand is what kids like Odell Beckham is throwing away. Because they're now saying, I can, you know, and, 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 and the, the one issue I had with Victor Cruz is, if you want him to stop that, then don't go to Miami with him. Because you got to be real enough with him to say, bro, listen here, this is how much respect we have for the game. If you're playing Aaron Rodgers next week, what you think Aaron Rodgers got Green Bay doing? What you think everybody in Green Bay locker room doing? They damn sure they ain't in Miami. They sitting there getting every piece of film. And how ironic that the Green Bay DBs outplayed the Giants receivers. Because you wanted to take the liberty to say, you know what? Nah, I'm, I'm going to go party with Trey and, and Justin who aren't aligned with me. And so what kids are missing, the point is, what I'm telling Odell, if I'm in Odell's face, and I will call him again, and I would just keep saying these same things, what do you want to be when the game is done, son? Because everybody has a choice to either deal with you or not. And that's why I think this kid is getting himself in a bad situation, because everybody's going to cheer for him now, Skip, yep. right? Because he can catch passes. He can run fast. He's one of the, I think he's one of the most exciting players we've ever seen in history of this game. But I've seen a lot of exciting players <laughs> come in mm -hmm. and then go missing. And so as a leader, as a brother, as a friend, my grandfather used to tell me this all the time. 
what you see in the light is exactly what people are in the dark. They're just now sharing it with us. And I think if Victor Cruz, Eli Manning, I'm going to put it back on the guys who are supposed to be helping him. If you're true teammates, if you're true friends, the moment he brings going, going to Miami up, you step to him and say, bro, you have lost your mind. Mm -hmm. Shoot it down. Mm -hmm. You have lost your mind. That's the last thing we're doing. No disrespect. And I'm sending Trey and Justin a, and, and a text and saying, I'll see you in four weeks.